Fear Not Denison's parade is here, aka the bringer of rain, aka father of the sea and sun, aka king of the core. And today we are talking about Acolyte episode five, night, not a flashback episode. And I'm here with my great co-host, Uncle Sheev on Twitch, The Fan Awakens on Instagram, the wonderful, the magnanimous, Eli. How are you today, sir? I am doing great. I stayed up last night to watch The Acolyte, and I'm here. <laughs> you are here? Uh, spoiler alert, it wasn't Soul's brother so far. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. I, I'm here. <laughs> so far, man, who knows? True, that's still who up knows? in the air. It is still up in the air. We got reveals, we got action, we got writing we got acting and i can't wait to talk about this episode let's do a little bit of housekeeping uh please if you're here click that like button uh drop a comment um i love talking to you guys hearing your thoughts about it um we're almost at 40 subscribers at this point uh follow us on instagram i have uh both of our links in the description so you can look down there um give us a follow and uh buy a shirt at raincoreclothing.com we got eli in the senate shirt created and designed by myself that's raincoreclothing.com that helps support the channel all right eli episode five night yes surface level thoughts explore your feelings explore my feelings uh you know there's some there's some good in this episode there's some things that are this episode there is some engaging action sequences i will say some excellent fight choreography uh, I think yes. when you compare it to other shows we've had so far with Jedi and lightsabers in the Disney Star Wars um, universe, right? Star Wars universe. Uh, and there's also some... <laughs> they've continued the trend of dialogue, and um, I think the acting has gotten... I mean, it's, it's stayed where it is. I don't think it's an acting thing, but this episode I, I felt had, had some great fight scenes, and the rest was uh, par for the course. Yes, the, the show is definitely consistently inconsistent <laughs> yeah it is consistently inconsistent it's consistent the characters are flip-flopping they're changing motivations and changing their ideas and and it's very confusing and i feel that way talking about this episode i'm i'm conflicted i don't know how to feel but i do agree with you uh some awesome choreography um yeah too bad some of it's behind a tree <laughs> but you know fill fill in the blanks where you can um and I, I mean i get it like you're in the jungle and it's supposed to be like tension building but i'm like we know there's the guy back there the strangers back there and there's the jedi back there you see the lightsabers going um but i i enjoyed the i enjoyed the the combat quite a bit i'm i've talked about the choreography in episode one and two it's been a minute since we've had choreography and i think it delivers but i would just like it to be paced out a little bit better like going two episodes without fight choreography or some kind of uh action scene uh i think it's a little too late but i still enjoyed it like i was on the edge of my seat watching it go down um but agreed with the dialogue uh i don't think it's the actor's faults i think it's actually what they were provided to say and do um especially lines like uh what did may say to ocean all reminiscent from the prequels and i'm like oh this is oh yeah you betrayed me yeah, yeah, yeah and the other was um Something Anakin says uh, to yeah, Obi Wan. You I'm turn. Fine. They've turned you against me. They've turned you against me. Yeah. And I was like, it's yeah. not the actor's fault. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree. I also think um, that it's important to say that while I don't think this is a good show by any means, like we're five out of eight as far as episodes now. I, I think I can accurately personally say, if you love the show, I am actually really happy about that. Mm-hmm. I love that. Uh, the amount of times I've defended episode seven is countless. And so I'm like, I get it. And I won't try and tear down someone else's enjoyment. Right, right. I also think that we can dislike the show without being like in a certain section of the fan base who's just hating because of the actors or, or they're being whatever the case of being racist, you know, yeah. whatever the case. I just think it's a bad show. I think these actors are pretty great. Yes. Um, I just want to get that off the off the board real quick. But I think you're right. Um, you know, when we pick up in this episode, it's it's a pretty cool scene. Like, I mean, 
sure <laughs> i got a little nervous when i saw <laughs> osha get up yeah me too and there's the jedi dead on the ground I'm like oh come on like let's not have them all dead from the push it was or very like, reminiscent of the moon knight like fights where it's yeah, like something yeah, yeah. happened you don't get to see it but something happened and i was like i i really hope we have fight scenes here because i'm like this is gonna be the worst thing <laughs> I agree. I was like, man, please, 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 please don't just pan up and they're all just white. He's out. just standing there, like, gonna die long. We, we did a continuous Star Wars tradition, though, of having, like, the cool char- cool looking characters die pretty quick. Like, oh, you sure. know, you have the, and I, I don't know the um, name of the species or, uh, but, you know, the Plo Koon type guy. Yeah, oh, <laughs> like, man. I should know this off the top of my head. I know. Head. And I'm like, that's fine. I knew it. he's a red shirt. We know what it is. Red shirt. There's a, f- there's a reason they brought all these guys. Yeah, it was a named female character, uh, Plo oh. species. Keldor, oh, Keldorian, Keldor. Keldor, they, Keldor. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, you know, we see this mysterious uh, red lightsaber wielder uh, dispatching everybody. Yeah. You know, cuts Yord in the leg, about to yes. take Yord out, just, just, yes. I mean, going seven on one or whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, Slicing, lightsaber actually killing people <laughs> for once. Yes. In very yes. many years, lightsaber actually killing people. Hold on now. What if the next episode, they're all just getting up? <laughs> like, oh man, they left us here. We... <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I mean, he said anyone who sees my face dies. They're dead. They're all dead. (laughs) But it is funny um, how that works, you know? Shout out to Uh, the kill where he impales one girl. Oh, yeah. Pulls the other guy in. And then, assuming behind the tree, they get decapitated. (laughs) I'm just assuming. Here's the thing, though. I I think it was Daphne Keene that said in an interview that... uh, and don't quote me on this, but I think she mentioned something along the lines of they were trying to top duel the fates, uh, the oh, fight okay. scene. And I, I honestly think they like they did a great job. I think that the fighting and everything was very well done. Um, we like yes, there's a tree scene, but uh, Jackie especially had her moments, Correct. and I think those were awesome. Yes. Whether they paved like I have questions as far as like uh, her ability and the fact that. An episode ago, she was training with a stick with younglings, but yeah. uh, I'm still I'm I'm gonna take it because she was my favorite character. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say that's fine. She was a, uh, you know, soul seems to be able to hold his own, and she's yes. soul's apprentice. So yes. I, like that's enough for me. Um, yeah. But there's a lot going on in this episode. We yeah. Kind of go going, through this. Yeah. For for the mention of better than Duel of Fates, I would agree. I know there's a big fan base who talk about Duel of the Fate or sorry, Duel of the Fates or um. Anakin I'm talking, versus Obi Wan. Sorry, I'm talking Duel of the Fates, like the Obi Wan Qui Gon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's up there. It's up there. I mean, the the fight, the choreography here has already been some of my favorite Star Wars fight scenes. Um, they are very well shot and very well rehearsed. Like, I don't feel like I it's agree. like, you know, uh, I forgot what they call it, like targeting to miss. Like, it feels it's, like intentional. Yeah, but it just sucks. There's no story behind it that could kind of push it forward and that's what's missing from it because these would be scenes i would go back to and be like oh i really like this scene but then it would just bring up all the memories of of how bad the writing is um but i do i really like i really like them uh especially the diffusing helmet and gauntlet that he had i was like that's pretty cool i heard that was um legend stuff prior or tosis i believe they called it it's a a legendary you know a metal that is able to like diffuse short term lightsabers and uh you know apparently absorb these uh, stun bolts um oh, right, but apparently right. it's also brittle which comes up later yeah a physic to the you know physically brittle yeah um yeah. and it was kind of like that helmet when you see it, it's pretty beat up correct um so i think that's a cool detail you kind of had that kylo ren um you know re-grafting of the helmet there's yes. like lines that lines, it looked like yeah. it was welded back together yeah. um i really like but, the i really like the costume the 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 metal teeth thing doesn't like the teeth looking part doesn't bother me, especially with who the character is now um, and who yeah. we know the character to be. Uh, it feels, it feels appropriate. And so I'm, I'm actually, that's one of the positives that I could get is I like the design. I like the look, the silhouette of this, of this character, of this, of I this agree. Nameless. And I have scene. no issue with the, uh, with like the character design. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, we have may is, 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to read through my notes real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Okay, so yeah, they're fighting. Uh, Soul finds out, o- or the Sith finds Osha, and then Soul, you know, comes in to save her as he's throwing his lightsaber to cut down the trees. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, Yord, take the civilian back to the ship. <laughs> and Boy Scout Yord is like, sir, yes, sir. He goes, and- civilian, <laughs> back to the ship. I was like, okay. I was <laughs> like, like, she has on, a name, just- but I get it. That, yeah. <laughs> Okay. One thing I'm one thing I don't re- it's a very nit this is a very nitpicky thing. Sure, sure. Was Soul knocked out and then he just happens to get up and run across to save Osha and was Jackie knocked out and she just happens to run like you don't see them within the fight besides your yeah. fighting uh behind the trees. Um but you know, that was just one thing. I'm like, where is yeah. where are these guys? And now they show up in the right right place, right time for this fight. Um what, uh and, and it's intercut. There's a lot of intercutting between fights. And one thing May is. does is she grabs Kalnaka's lightsaber and she starts running out. And then Jackie drop kicks her, right? And surprise attacks yeah. her. And she's like, you're under arrest. And I don't understand. And here's the first thing that, that comes to mind yeah. is why is May not saying anything? And why is she not like, arrest me? Like she said, well, that was her plan when she got there. She's going to turn herself into the Jedi. But now at this point, she's trying to fight off and kill Jackie and run away. I had it written down as well. I did. It didn't make much sense even in the last episode when they Correct. were yelling to her, "Hey, that means you, May. Uh, you need to come out here." She's not like, "Hey, I didn't kill Kelnaka, <laughs> and I was coming here to surrender. That right. was your plan. Do it." She was like just staring out, and that continued. It was odd, very odd that she didn't speak a single word. Like, okay, I get it that Jackie was telling her. You know, hey, you're arrested for this, this, and this. Yes, correct. And it's like, okay, but I didn't kill Kill Naka. <laughs> but I get that part. But like, yeah. I still feel like this. This is the time to to speak. To like, speak. Yes. Instead, she's just trying to seemingly kill her, right? Um, which was odd because it contradicts everything that that she her, just said. It contradicts her motivation, massive motivation flip from the last episode. Yes. Um, and so that was that was that was a bit odd. Yeah, another complaint I had right before we started um, the episode uh, was I was like another thirty minute episode. So you could have condensed these two into one, and we could have had a, like a 45, 50 minute episode. And I guess it's totally different, but at the same time, like, are we just pulling these two apart so that we have more episodes week to week? Um, that was one. It, it didn't start out on the right foot when I when I watched the episode. But going back to May and Jackie, I wish there was conversation. Cause it was, it would be so easy to add dialogue here where she's like, yeah. I didn't kill Kal Naka, but I can't stay here. He's going to kill me. And Jackie yeah. could have said something like, I don't care. You're still under arrest. And then they still have the conflict. It's like, yeah, you can still have the fight, but I feel like it's an odd thing again. Yeah. Just character wise. You made this point to have her have this sudden flip, um, from this dark side acolyte to just, I want to give up. I want to go, uh, <laughs> confess and let them take me captive and tell all your secrets <laughs> and um yeah you know she didn't say she didn't try and plead her case whatsoever um she you're right she wanted to be detained essentially she was okay with it i don't know yeah. if i wanted to but sure. she, that was the plan yeah and jackie was trying to do that <laughs> she's like nope <laughs> i'm just gonna fight you um <laughs> yeah because it's like was- fight or flight and she chose flight and then she chooses fight and I'm like, I just don't know why you wouldn't argue your case, you know, at all. Plot. Um, because of plot. He's going to kill me. I am trying to help you. Whatever the case, that whatever form that comes in, um, it just feels odd. It, yeah, it, it feels like an it odd feels out of place. choice. It's another consistent inconsistency from the show. Uh, there's a point where Jackie gets cut on the leg and you hear her scream throughout the jungle. Again, yeah. <laughs> sound travels really well here. It does. Those and trees goes, speak. <laughs> and Osha goes, "Your Jackie's hurt," and he's like, "Jackie's a Jedi. Like she's fine." Like, and I was like, "Okay, Yord, like that's cool." And like we could keep we could keep it moving. And I can't remember if it's this scene or the next, but we cut we in, we cut back and forth from Yord and Osha, and then because they do it again when May calls out, and I'm like, "How many Here's times are we gonna stop?" He's like, Jackie can handle herself. Mm-hmm. All those Jedi's just got killed. Very true. No, so he's, I think at this point, he's just like, Soul gave me an order. I will, de-, he said, I'll detain you if I have to. I don't yes. want to. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. very like, um, you know, space cop sounding. 
which mm. they've come off that way at times in the show. Yeah. There's also a scene in between all of this where Soul is talking to yeah. the the dark side user and it's what kind of uh, master hides his identity from his pupil or hides his face from his pupil and says, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like they, we're getting, I'm sure we're gonna get there. No, he says, but like he they, says, uh, yeah, basically, like, well, you, you're also hiding something, is what he says. Something he literally says, effect. "You tell me." Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, I have it written down. <laughs> you tell me. Um, so, and and that's the thing. Again, like this armor, I get the 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 lightsaber point. That's really cool. Oh, right. And right, also, right. it's like a magneto helmet because Soul's like, take your mask off <laughs> and let you read my thoughts. <laughs> My thing is, hasn't he already read his thoughts? When? When though? When, when they in episode two? When uh, I don't think he read thoughts then. Oh, I don't he remember. read May's thoughts. You tried right. to read May's thoughts. Yeah, yeah. and he, he was like, I can't. Thoughts. And the the but, thing is, and then now, and then that point, it's off, right? Yeah. Well, there's a point where the mask comes off, and you could have read his thoughts then at that point, like you do. <laughs> so it's like, what is going on? Like, why even have that? This is a weird line to include. The well, other like, the other line I didn't like, he's like, you don't remember me? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I <laughs> I was like, we don't know who, I don't know, who, it was the Thanos, like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> My like, who thing are too you? is like, it, it's like, okay, I guess there could be more to this, but it doesn't make any sense now. To me. Because they've already seen his face. They know him yeah, from episode to, two. To me, that line went just back to episode two that it's kind of yes. right that's what that line meant to me but there Same. could be another point where he's on Bren Dock or something <laughs> like with because with... here's the thing i took it that way same way as you yeah and i try to stay away from reading any reviews or anything sure. before we do ours yeah. um, but something just came across my instagram feed mm-hmm. is a post like was uh this uh, we can say it was kamir like in the jedi order with yord because when he is fighting with Yord. Yord's like, it's you? And like, he, that's because he just saw this dork two episodes ago. No, He's yeah, it's, it's you. still episode yeah, two. And, and it's still I don't know how two. I get... And I don't fault people for thinking that way either. Maybe we're wrong because with the storytelling, who knows? But also, it's just very all over the place. So, like... Yeah. I to me, know. it's all reference um, to episode two. If same. there is another thing that happened, we have yet to see it. So, I'm only basing off the time that they met him. And again, I mentioned in our last review... That they let him go. They yep. caught him. They surrounded him. And then they were like, Whoa. Soul goes, you go over Where'd there, you go? go over there, you go over there. And then we're not arresting this guy for being complicit in the murder of a master. So doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. They're really bad at their jobs. Um, uh, so I, I do like the fight scene between Soul and Chimere, Um And yeah. oh, Chimere. I, I don't know if I should be calling him Chimere anymore. The Stranger. Or uh, the Sith. He's like, who yeah. are you? Or he goes, what are you? And I, I don't know if I like the delivery, but one positive before I forget. Dude has some nice arms, man. Dude was like, hey, they hid those things. Manny just they said hid so. those guns yeah, under all that that like long sleeve. Yeah, those they arms made him look, look scrawny. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, dude, you got to get that pump for this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, them anchor arms for sure. He, yeah, I was like, he did I a like great job. Leg. Yeah, he physique for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think that like for what I mean, if you're reading this and it's like, okay, this is what I have to work with. I think he did. I think he did a, a very good job. For a bit tra- not that I think the story is good, right? And I don't know that the character makes sense or anything like that. But for what it's worth, he he wasn't still like the dorky guy. I mean, I still think he's a little dorky, but like it's not his fault. Um... <sighs> I, I kind of wish this was taken like an anime where it does a reveal and then it's like, do you don't remember me? And then it goes into a flashback where you see a young Chimere, whatever, you know, like having a reason, having a reason to be upset about the Jedi. Cause even putting her on this quest to kill four masters that had something to do with her backstory. Does not make sense for him to you for hit for like, these are the four that need to be killed. Right. Yeah. It's like the, and this is what I had an issue with in the previous episode. It's like, what does this Sith character, when we didn't know who it was, what motivation does he have to put May on this quest? Because it could have been any 
four Jedi at that point if he just needed four dead. But he was so hell bent on her because, like, remember when you talked about he he gets, got serious and was like, yeah. "You need to kill these people." But I'm like, "Did they do something to your family?" I would like to know that, and I hate this mystery that is continuing, just leads to more questions and more questions. And I'm like, again, last this was an episode they needed to answer some things. Not everything, but you need to give it something. I mean, they answer who's behind the mask, but it doesn't feel like a big reveal. We knew that last week. Yeah, we knew that. (laughs) (laughs) Totally called it last week. It is the Scooby-Doo of Scooby-Doo reveals. Of of all Scooby-Doo reveals. I I just remembered one other thing they did in this episode (laughs) where he goes, uh, Yord goes, he goes into your mind and he like, you know, affects your mind and you don't know... You know, he, it's like making you crazy or whatever. And she goes, he stays with you. She stays with, and she goes, my mother could do that. And we're like, yeah. oh, it could be one of the mothers. <laughs> I was like, but see, the thing is like, I saw his arms and like, it, it's definitely like, him. It's, it's definitely guy. him. It's a, so I don't know if what I thought maybe at that point is that, okay, maybe it's the mother controlling him and he's going to lose a mask and he's going to have black eyes because oh. he's being controlled. That wasn't the case. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That's not the case. That's what I was like. Okay, maybe they're, he's going to... Because it's clearly him. Like, at that point, I was like, it's clearly this guy. Yeah. But maybe he's being mind controlled. And so he, that's what I thought. Okay, maybe he doesn't know himself mm-hmm. that he's this master. Because whenever he's in that, you know, that suit or whatever, he's being mind controlled. Still that possible. Be, it's still possible. I, n- well, we see him. And- <laughs> But anyways, so we're going through, right? Yeah. Um, Jackie. I have, I Jackie, have Jackie begins fighting Sith. Best part. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, I thought that, okay, so the last episode when Osha is going to leave, right? Um, she stops in to say bye to Jackie. And Jackie's in this classroom with younglings playing with sticks. Mm-hmm. Like, she's doing remember. little stick practice. Yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, that seems a little ridiculous. But... I didn't care because Jackie's pretty much my favorite character. Her and Soul, yeah. you know, they have their moment. It was awesome seeing Jackie. You know, she subdued uh, May, right? And then you see old Sith guy running at her, and mm-hmm. she starts fighting. And it's a good fight. I thought she did great. Um, the choreography is very good, um, and I'm glad that it was her because I think that's the only character that I would have cared that much about with yeah. how it ultimately ended. It was Yord that had that fight and ended that way. It wouldn't have the same effect. Yeah. Um, if it was, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and I, I honestly, I know I gripe and I I complain a lot about movies not killing off characters and like shows not killing off characters. And so I appreciate that they the way this fight ends. Right. We had some cool moments there. She's fighting and then, you know, double he sabers. disappears. Yeah, double sabered. That was cool. Um, then you know he disappears. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's he's Batman. I don't understand the disappearing thing. And like, I was like, is everyone just running in circles in this forest or in this jungle? Because everyone just is running and running and running. I'm like, what? <laughs> why? Why? Is, what's going on? Uh, do we cut back to? So it's it's Jackie and the Sith, and then what do we cut to at this point? After that, because um, he disappears. I remember that. I don't remember. Exactly. So what. Osha and Yord were running through the trees. That's oh, when my God. favorite scene happens. And then she goes, <laughs> and Yord is turn using it off. She goes, turn off, light. turn off your lightsaber. And he goes, does he say why? No. Well, he said they're attracted to light. He says, who? What? And I was like, dude, so, you were like, standing you, there. The you last were there. <laughs> dude. Okay. Okay. Here's my other thing. Here's my other thing. It would have been cool. Here's another way we could just easily write this off. Right. Yeah. In the Avatar, they have that foggy area, that canyon where lost souls get stuck there. Okay. It would have been cool if this forest, the fog there or the jungle makes people feel crazy and forgetful. And, you know, and that's why people are acting the way they're acting or forgetting things. We didn't need that forest all over the galaxy. <laughs> he says, what? What's like, a, what's what? A- and he keeps... He keeps it on. I'm like, dude, and he's turn like it walking off. to the tree, rubbing, like off. looking at the trees. <laughs> turn it off. Come 20, on, 20 years Lord. later, it's still lit. And I'm like, dude, just turn it off. Um, so yeah. And then she goes, I have an idea. And then she turns on her little, little droid, turns on a flashlight, flashes the Umber moths and uh, uh, runs back. And yeah. 
and then this is where is it Jackie and Soul now fighting? Jackie and Soul. Cool, cool fight scene, and like, cool I'm like master apprentice, master Padawan. They like they they know how each other fights, and they're kind of feeding off each other, and they're giving them they're giving them the business. They're giving them the business here. And I agree. Uh, I agree. Jackie pulls the the butt of her lightsaber and hits him in the helmet. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And breaks helmet, and I was like, that would do some damage because I have some savvy sabers here, and I'm like, I don't yes. even need <laughs> the blade part. That they thing is like a weight, hammer. Man. <laughs> Dude, and also, these sabers they're using, they're thick, man. They they're look like boys. A, it's a it's a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But and, uh, and I, the reason for that is they have the lightsabers they're using. Um, are actual like the props that have to power themselves. So yeah. that's why they have to be a little bit thicker. All so. the components and all that. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't have it. I know some people have an issue with it. I don't have an issue with it. Me either. Um, I was just like, they look closer to what I'm buying at Disneyland. Like I'm good with that. I'm good with that. True. Um, but, uh, but, but the helmet hey. comes off. Helmet comes off. And Jackie goes, ah, <laughs> she, she goes in for the kill. And he, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You're yeah, right. Yeah, he he undoes the bottom of his lightsaber, and a little baby lightsaber comes out, and he goes, cat, 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 and he stabs her three times. And so he we said, go, "I've, I've seen Obi Wan. I've seen you know all these shows. I've seen Sabine get stabbed. I've seen Reva get stabbed. I I've seen countless people get stabbed and live. Not you, Jackie. What's the other guy? The uh, from Obi Wan. What? And rebels and oh, oh my gosh, uh, Inquisitor, Grand Inquisitor, yeah. Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. He, Too he's many like, people. I gotta, I gotta make sure she's dead. You're dead, dead. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no resurrections. Another Thanos reference. No resurrections for you. But for what it's worth, um, I was surprised that Jackie died uh, and died that way. It was a pretty brutal, you know, pretty brutal, brutal death. Yep. And I appreciate them taking that. Uh, swing just because I complain about those things all the time. Mm-hmm. That I wish that there was more. There has to be stakes here. Yeah. And she was the one character that I really cared about. If you yeah. want to, I mean, it's not like, not like Qui Gon. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. I, she's a kid. She's like, legitimately, you know I mean? legitimately shocked. Yeah. I gasped when she died because Same. I was thinking she would make it to the end of the show and maybe Same. die somewhere else or or yeah so i was like oh my god i was like she's dead what is worth they're pretty brutal with the deaths in this i mean like you said early on with the double impalement mm-hmm. um with jackie and then our our good pal <sighs> soon Man. after oh dude that was that would even hurt me too because it was i i, I mean for what it was it was it was cool he, he uh yord and osha yeah. finally show up he he force pulls the helmet to him he diffuses the lightsaber of the of the stranger and he comes down but his gets diffused by the gauntlet yeah so they're kind of i wish they kind of had a stalemate kind of thing yeah i wish they kind of did a stalemate where the lightsabers were pointed at each other waiting for it to ignite but that didn't happen they were pointed away so i was like oh that's a little that to me that took away from the scene but uh (laughs) that would have been a really cool scene yeah yeah And, and does he say you're like you're under arrest to him too there was some he says something and oh no no! Well, he sees his face and he's like, "Oh, you." Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. He goes, "You," and then uh, the stranger pulls like some 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 get out of get out of this uh, arm bar thing and jacks his arm, turns him around, and then just brutally brutally yeah. cracks his neck on a Disney Brutal. Plus show, and then throws the force throws his body to the throws side. him. I, I was, was like, like, "Man, oh yo this no!" Is, <laughs> the action of this episode is the tone that I thought the show would be previous like when announced correct right? um so that like there's bright spots in this episode um it does make me wish it does make me sort of yearn for the that tone for the rest mm. of the show it's not not gonna happen that's fine we know what it is at this point yeah um but yeah i i, I agree like those deaths hit me more than i expected to um soul's reaction to Jackie was was great and all this does lead to a scene that rather annoys me later <laughs> yeah um I think you know where that's what I'm getting to there. So, um, yeah. So at this point, Souls had it, and I and I feel like even there was like a, a quick frame where or Jackie even like kind of screams in anger, and I'm like, ooh, are they kind of tapping? Are we tapping into the dark side here? Because you're like losing your emotions, and uh, he, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this scene, but Osha shows up, and he, the stranger takes off his robe and like throws it onto Soul. And then force pulls or is May. He force pulls May, and I'm gonna kill her. 
Like, just, just well, kill her right now. Why wouldn't he? He's been swiped on his lightsaber, and that was very, uh, uh... Oh, that like, this happens before Yord shows up. Actually, this was right before where Yord yes. shows up. Yes, so he pulls. But May like, in. okay, it's a good point though about about the robe because while while Soul was fighting uh, Kamir initially mm. and throughout the episode, I was like, what? "Take off your robe, man! You need to move." Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, like typically, we, it's fight time. At least oh, in, like yeah, the prequels, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, all Everybody... right, Luke, everyone, it's time to take off the robe. It's yeah. time to go. Yeah. And my my brother was like, "Maybe they didn't get to that point until a hundred years later." Like <laughs> we realized these robes are a little constrictive. Like we, we get it. Maybe so. Well, Soul's still holding it down in a robe. He w- that's my because Jackie like had Piccolo? robed off. Jackie robed off. Oh, he had the pickle. Yes. the pickle. You take his helmet off and his in the way. It's like, <laughs> well, you're fighting with a hand tied behind your back. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like drops it. Kung kung kung. He's like, oh yeah, this actually weighs he's 100 ripped, pounds. Like, come here. <laughs> yeah, Kymir's ripped too. Um. Yeah. So I was like, kill May right here. Like, why is yeah. there still monologue? Like, if you want her dead, kill her. But of course, plot right. Then Yord comes in, and then and then we have. <laughs> the, I'm trying to even remember. Yord dies, and yes. uh, but the uh, I swear he's holding May, and Soul tries to swipe at him, and this is where Chimera says like, "Oh, you try to attack me with with a, with my oh, with back, my back turn. turn. Not very Jedi of you." And I was but, like, "Go ahead, go ahead, yeah, go ahead." I was gonna say he's egging them on, like, yep. it, it, like that does it just still doesn't make any sense. These like little like here's the rules and and it's the theme right. The rules of the Jedi are making them weaker basically, and he doesn't follow the rules. So what were you? I do want to say before your died, I believe, it might have been right after. I've written before, but Sol and Chimere have a dialogue, and he asks, "What are you?" <laughs> and he says, "I have no name." But the Jedi like you might call me <laughs> Sith, and I'm like, oh, okay, all right, we're we're like, he, he's telling you I'm a Sith. Yeah, yeah he could have lied. He could easily lied. Like, I'm just a. I'm just but the guy. I think it's out of that point. But it's good. They want to use. And then will ask, why risk discovery? And I did wear a mask. <laughs> I did wear a mask. <laughs> uh, that stuff was. Um... And then he goes on <sighs> to say, you know, I don't make the rules. The Jedi do, and the Jedi say I can't exist. And I was like, wait a minute, are we gonna, are they trying to, like, make us feel for the Sith right here? Because I wasn't sure if they were gonna try and take this, like, um, weird route where it's like, you guys say I can't exist and I just want to exist in this world, but that wasn't it. He was like, I just want to do whatever I want, and you guys won't let me. Uh, so I'm throwing a fit, I'm yeah, killing you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but, I mean, he's not even killing anyone of significance. No, no he's not. So I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not gonna kill all the... What? Because like, again, the motivations are so unclear. It's hard for me to be invested in any one story because it keeps changing. And I'm like, am I going crazy? Am I going crazy right now? And I said, I wish this was the jungle of, of, of great. Like, I wish they had a name for this jungle where it's like, oh, it's the, the jungle of misdirection, like, or, or you know, watch out for the fog of confusion, and like it'd be like this, <laughs> just because because that's how I feel watching the show. I'm like, I'm so. I, it's all over the place. Again, I'm glad yes. if you love the show, I'm happy for you. But for me, yes. from a narrative standpoint and character motivation, it's does not. It's not adding up. Things aren't adding up to me. And like we, ha- I know we still have three episodes, but we do. Have we have three episodes. episodes. Like, what, I know there's still the, like, what if he's not the master and there's someone? Else? I'm we hoping he's ep- not the master. I really hope there's somebody else. But so we're clearly going to have a flashback episode, one more yeah, at least, one more. and then we have two episodes. So like. We'll, we'll see how much they can uh, can do in three episodes that they couldn't in five. Uh, Osha May runs off again, and yep. Osha stun guns her. Right? Doesn't she shoot her and stun yep, stuns yep. her? She shoots her with stun. And then um, and then Soul is besting in hand to hand combat. He's whooping him, man. Just Soul, give oh, him there the you business. go, my <laughs> man. Kicks him too. Kicks him. He does. Kicks him like a dog in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Kicks him like a dog, and then pull, force pulls his lightsaber with with killing his eyes. Because remember, this guy just killed not only his apprentice Yord, ten other Jedi, uh, Indara, uh, like all these characters, and he's about to just lop his head off and, and then kill Naka, and kill Naka, and then and then make us soul. And she goes. I was so mad. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm 
was like, dude, I, mean, I, sc- I literally screamed. I said, he's too dangerous to be left alive. <laughs> I literally screamed what Mace Windu told Anakin because I'm like, bro, what is going on? What are you talking about? And then, and then Kymer goes, oh, Sha. <laughs> This is your master. This uh, is your, and I, I'm like, she's not a Jedi. That's not that's not her master. She said in episode two that she's like, I'm not part of the order anymore. So I'm like, what are we talking about? I just that that was the scene that I was like, come on. Like I know I did plot. I armor. didn't expect plot Cole armor. Cole. I didn't expect Soul to kill him because I know he's like it's episode five. And unless he kills him and then there's another master, but like you have it right there. It just... But then she decides to kill him via moth. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, okay. My thing is, okay, what, are you, like, trying to save Soul's humanity? I, like, I feel like, what are, we, what are we doing? What are we doing? So she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes what if she goes, no, Soul, I don't want to kill him. That would have been fine with. Wait. An episode ago, she told Yord to yes! kill her own sister. Yes! She said, if Makas goes out of pocket, you got the green light from me to kill my sister. Kymir goes out of pocket and murders 12 people. And she goes, Sol, no, don't. That's it. it that one, that one uh, was, <laughs> you've gone too far. No, uh, that, it made no sense. It made, it made no, no sense. sense. It's all... I just don't know, like, if where are they keeping track of these characters and the mo- Like, do you have a big whiteboard or like a big a big board, a wall that you're like track? Okay, or are they just like it? It's uh, I don't know. It they that have, one they have like an idea board right where all the characters are, and the janitor actually accidentally wiped it all off, and they're like, oh no, <laughs> like what do we do? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! They, Everyone try to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the sticky note they had sticky notes and they all just fell yeah and then they're just like throwing them back up but you're right like it doesn't make any sense because one last episode she told Yor to kill her sister mm-hmm. and then this episode she tells yells at Sol to stop killing a murderer but then, like when she was bringing the moths I assumed that it would have been Chimere is about to kill them all and it's like these moths save the day, Ant Man and the Wasps, or Ant Man like Quantum Like his lightsaber's lit, and then they just come down. Ant-Man yes, and the Wasps. like yeah, he's yeah. about to kill Soul and about to kill May or whatever. The, the force case. is working in mysterious ways, but she decides. She makes a decision. Goes, you know, what? I'm going to murder this guy by moth. She goes, Pip, I love you, and then sticks it on his back. Also, okay, and this is nitpicky. Don't get me wrong; it's very nitpicky. He's clearly a very skilled wielder of the lightsaber. <laughs> when he just go. Boom! No, no, no! Wouldn't he off. just zoop that off his back? They do that stuff all the time. Like we've seen droids, and like they have. They, he's a master with his lightsaber, yeah, and he's yeah. like, something's on my back. Ah, something's on my back, and he can't get it off. I was like, dude, what are you doing? What are you just cut it? You see, it's a light. They might just as well. The <laughs> they might as well use Pip's water spray. <laughs> <laughs> At least there'd be a reference to that. You're like, oh, I shot Basil in the face, so here, here's my droid that shoots him. <laughs> like, that's the level of goofy that part was. You're not. You're right. They, why not? Why not? Why not? It would have made more sense. Because she, like, she goes, look. She, like, she looks up, and then they're all flying above, and and then, you know, Soul remembers, right? Soul remembers this trek <laughs> into the woods, so he turns off his lightsaber. And uh, and the Umbermonts carry him up, and me and my family are like, he's probably not dead. We don't see... A dead no, body. yeah, no way. They're, if they killed him by moth off screen, like, rip him, rip him into pieces, dude. If like, okay, that ha- scene happens, and then we pick up. I'm glad that guy died. <laughs> just like <laughs> never see him again. You just see like, like a helmet, a butt, like a pulled off buff arm on the ground. You know what I mean? It would have been. Oh, dude, here this would have been even cooler. You see an arm on the ground, so you assume he's dead, but. We get an impa- we get it a, like another lost limb and he's still alive and then he's still like on the hunt. That would have been cool, but that's it's, this is not that show, right? And, he seemed unscathed, unscratched. Oh yeah, he was fine. He was just like, yeah. oh, this is cool. And then because when he dropped down, he floated from the jungle, so we know he has like some kind of flight ability, right? But uh, in this scene, Soul's like, she's like, what is he talking about, Soul? Why? What is he talking about? And he's like, I'll explain 
in a different episode and May shoots him. Shoots she, him. She grabs the gun, the stun gun and then she shoots Soul in the back, stuns him. And then they walk away from the body to okay. go talk somewhere else. They have a similar, there's a scene in The Dark Knight Rises mm-hmm. that I always, it always makes me laugh. And this is similar in this episode where uh, Batman drives into a tunnel in the dark of night and comes out and it's just daytime, okay. uh, which is very, very weird. So she stuns Soul, May stuns Soul. Yep. It's nighttime still. Uh, maybe the sun's being, I don't know, but it looks um, like it's nighttime. Yeah. And then we cut and it's like the sun is coming up. Yep, yep, yep. And they just, like, it took them, they were like already 30 feet away from each other. And then they're like somewhere else, somewhere else. again, 30 feet away from each other and like walking up. Let's just go, it's let's like, go walk somewhere private where there's no dead bodies. <laughs> let's go walk over here. It smells. <laughs> I, like I didn't moth. understand. I was like, why do we have to walk somewhere else to have this scene? Just continue the scene Just there. Just continue the scene there, where everybody's knocked out or dead. Yeah, you can have soul on the ground right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but we have to have the scene where they have the dialogue where it's like, who cares, right? Who cares? You know, the Jedi are good. The Jedi are, the Jedi are bad. Jedi are good. Well, Osha says, you know, you trust him after everything he did to you. And she's like, they saved me. And she goes, you know, the, the Jedi brainwashed you, which I'm sure we're going to see, you know, a different point of view. Sure. Um, in maybe next episode, maybe. But the thing is, episode. does May know something that we don't know? Because Clearly, she, she has another. Go ahead. Because all we know, May doesn't know anything. I mean, she it was a weird. She had some weird dialogue there where she seems to be alone, right? Mm-hmm. And she's telling her, you let them, you know, give you, what kind of life is it? A life without friendship, a life without oh, love, family, a, family, a life without life. family. I'm like, what? I don't know. It's, it just feels like, um, like it would be one thing if they, like their whole family is still alive and none of those people died. And it's like, no, they just took you and everyone's still alive back home. Come on. Yeah. I wish she yeah, was yeah. like, they're all dead though. You, well, I mean, yeah. she says that she's like, you killed them. Yeah, and May again doesn't say anything about like I didn't kill them, right? She's not. She doesn't even know if she killed them or not. And I'm like, this conversation doesn't make any sense because Osha's not a Jedi either. She's like, I work on a spaceship, a mech neck thing. If you just happen to look for me, I wasn't with the order. So I'm like, yeah. there's like no communication whatsoever with these characters. She thought she was dead, but they both thought like, each other were dead. But yeah, <laughs> and it sucks. Oh. Me. It sucks because yeah, like, they do a really good job with, you know, Amanda Steinberg's playing both of these characters. Even when they yeah. embrace and then they turn, I was like, kill her. Like, I want <laughs> like a lightsaber or something, right, in the, t- the, the, the time they embrace. But we have three more episodes, so there'll be plenty of time for one of these sisters to die, or both. Um, but then <laughs> she she pulls a move where she, like, either elbows her or knees her off of her. And then yeah. she gets force pushed off of a of off, and I'm assuming hits a rock. And that one from her mom. And she goes, yeah, you should have. You remember when mom pushed us against the stairs? I remembered that. I remembered that. And she's like, this is what would have happened if she pushed us harder, right? And and May's acting really weird here, like the, the acting here. <laughs> and it also made me laugh that she force pulls the lightsaber and she flinches. She like, <laughs> I was like, I had to play in my, I tried to reenact that. And I was like, if I force pulled something, I know it's coming at me. So I wouldn't close my eyes, but that's a nitpicky thing. But yeah, yeah. Uh, she turns she turns the lightsaber on and cuts her hair, right? Haircut. So now we're gonna do a whole parent trap switcheroo, right? But I'm like, um you got it you have a tattoo hey, no. right about here on your, your head. Whole side of your forehead. Like right here. I don't know how you're gonna get around that. And they already established that Master Soul saw OSHA's tattoo. Right? Because she's like, yeah. oh, you don't like my tattoo. So at least there's a callback to something. Because I'm like, oh, a tattoo. And I'm like, wait a minute. There's a tattoo on a girl's head. Um, Big little tattoo on her head. A white tattoo on her head. <laughs> and like it, it, is, stands... it is hard to see, but that's just Disney Plus in the dark that's, setting. Y- but still. If you're looking at someone, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can see it. It's not like. <laughs> so Saul better on. not. Saul better not not recognize this girl. Because I'm going to be like, pissed I, if he doesn't realize. I get it. Initially, you're dazed or whatever. Sure. but. How does he not tell? You can't because censor. This is the you forest of forgetfulness. <laughs> and like, oh, Basil's here to save the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. That little... it doesn't smell like her. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that scene was... Uh... 
you know, Soul is sense. I thought he sent someone familiar too. Oh, oh, sure. <laughs> let's, let's, let's roll. Or mind reader. <laughs> the force of forgetfulness, man. That's the for the 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 force of forgetfulness. They also. They... I'm curious. Are they going to send someone back to get the bodies? Or are they just going to leave them? We're going to leave them. They went for Andara's, right? Did they? Did they? We. I don't no, maybe not. Think so. But do they just they're just gonna leave them? The High Republic, we just leave people. We just leave people. <sighs> the bodies will stay where they lay. <laughs> I don't That's know how crazy. to traverse this jungle. <laughs> I've never been here before. <laughs> I um, don't know, man. It it's there's a lot of weird. Ni- yeah. Yeah. But I, the, the him not knowing that it's May was um uh, not, He might not, know it's May. He might know. Because he says, Where's your sister? I don't know, but it would just, that would be oh, absurd. Yeah. But for her to forget, she has a tattoo. Because I wish she would like they would show her. Oh, okay, okay. It would have been interesting if she injured her. <laughs> injured That's her what head I was saying. Somewhere, like, I don't know. She was like <laughs> fell in the mud. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, She's yeah. like, oh, I got to throw some mud on my head. Yeah, maybe. Um, or get or hit like, in the head or something. It's a pretty obvious. It's, it's like obvious it's a face tattoo. tattoo, man. A big old face Again, tattoo. Again, the janitor wiped off. May had a tattoo in episode three, and they just forgot. They just forgot that. She yeah. Does. Um. Okay, and then we see Chimere survive the moths. Somehow. Conf- somehow, he returned, and he goes up to. Ugh, this is my favorite quote. Even in the revelation of our triumph. You see the depths of our despair. And I go, I am despaired right now. I'm very, I'm very despaired. <laughs> I'm very despaired if this is your triumphant, crazy episode five. Again, kind of crazy, the deaths and stuff. But yeah. one thing I didn't yeah. understand, uh, Osha had a, a, a wound on her side that he force heals. And they never showed her get injured on the side because when May pushes her, there's a rock. So I'm like, did... Osha like slice her in the side, but so I'm like, you're leaving your sister to die. So I I don't understand. Again, have, a jungle that they can't. I gotta traverse. go back and look, but he I mean, there's a couple heals, things. He force heals her. I didn't even notice that. I watched it twice, but yeah. Uh, even like like Yord got sliced in the leg, and he was just fine. After he did, he, <laughs> like didn't he go, was running. Oh, uh, once and she goes, oh, you're injured. <laughs> you're like, oh, this. Yeah. No, no, no. Force heals. We got force healing in the temple. We'll be fine. Um, we just make it back to the ship. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's a cosmetic injury. Good. But that's where the um, episodes end. And now we're like, oh, is Osha the acolyte? I wish he, I want, I, I was wishing Chimere was the acolyte. Like, I wish maybe he still is. He's the disciple that he's under a master and that the show surrounds what's going on with him. And Soul's little brother. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> My thing is like, if that was the case, he would have recognized him back in episode two. <laughs> like, what's your last name? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, I don't have one. Um, yeah. So I mean, they they get on the ship and then Basil oh, right, is the trailing battles. them, and then that's it. Okay. And then Gaimir and and Osha have their little. He's creepy and putting like a shirt a blanket over her or something while he has a monologue uh <laughs> to himself um <laughs> oh that was another thing he was like i want a pupil yeah an <laughs> acolyte and he says i'm like he said it an like, oh, acolyte like he it. and he's he, like this one betrayed me but why yeah. but why my my other thing though is if he's essentially calling himself a sith you know he's like you would call me a sith so essentially he's calling himself a sith his only motivation is he just wants to do what he wants yeah it's not like he's trying there's, to there's take down the jedi and he's like i want to do whatever i want to use my powers how i want and you won't let me and i'm like uh, I don't but, know then, but then but then at that point why kill four four specific jedi you know what i mean i don't know i guess that's his his task for osha to become his acolyte or for may to become his acolyte for whatever reason it's like uh you have this connection to Jedi, go kill them all, but one without a weapon? I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're going to get, like, a... I think they gave us our best answer in Episode 4 of, like, you know, a Jedi to kill... So It's so against the Jedi Code. I think that's as much as we're going to get for that. <laughs> all I um, know... This is, what I, this is my prediction. <clears throat> we're going to... They're going <laughs> to... They're like, hey, Dave Filoni, um, could you make another animated show to fix this one, please? <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you make an animated show about the tales of the Sith and then add Chimere and his his upbringing? And can you please fix I, this, please? I wouldn't mind it. I guess at this point, give me something. Explain it to me. I don't want. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, we have three episodes left, and I, you know, this was the big episode. I don't know. It is what it is. I'm not. Uh, super excited like even last night um yeah i'm still i'm still interested in star wars you know what i mean i want to see how it plays out and everything yeah um but i think a big detriment is that like now who are we left with chimere osha may and soul yeah and like okay this is a lot like jackie's gone yord's gone not that i think yord was the best character ever by any means right. but like it's just something there i don't know how interested I am in whatever comes next. Like we 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 got the mystery solved, and wow, what a who is it? It's Chimere. It's like oh yeah, the one guy who wasn't part of the group with a big old bag full of his 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 costume. <laughs> Again, putting it's, his costume. It's this. It's bag. it's literally the Scooby Doo formula. Yeah. They go to a mystery. There's one person who's not part of the group. He ends up being the villain. <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I mean, we have three episodes left. Like you said, there's Soul, Osha, May, Kymir. So we're going to see two people talking about what it means to be a Sith and how she could be an acolyte. Osha's going to be like, no, I don't want to. And then we're going to have Soul, I guess, break down what happened to who he thinks is Osha and tells May. And then May might have another switch of of motivation and then decide we got to go sit. We can't just fly back to the, we can't just fly back to the Republic. We got to go save her. And then we're going to spend another episode in this jungle. No, there's no way it's going to be on a ship. They're all, everyone's on ships now, but then where does, does Chimere take her to like Mustafar? Like where, where, where do we, where do you think we go from here? Where, where does, where's his little hideout that beach again? Yeah. I mean, are, is May going to be found out before they leave? Or after, what do you think gonna go, hey, you have something right there, and like moves her hair, and he's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> just like, I don't want to spoil something else, but um, oh, okay, okay. It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I now we're back to it, you know, Basil, maybe she'll kill Basil, toss him out the, oh the my airlock. God. <laughs> That's one thing, though, it's Snap a good thing that they killed all these characters because now at this point, it's like I wouldn't put it past them to kill a Basil, right. Mm. It's I like, have, oh, I, maybe. <laughs> I have no love for Basil. I'm sorry. I, I don't. Either. I don't. I don't care about Basil. Me either. And if he's gonna be like, <laughs> it's like, like, like if only Yord was here to speak his language. <laughs> I Soul's did, gonna have a five minute uh, scene with Basil trying to understand as he's like, it's not her. He's like screaming. <laughs> Why don't you just keep the episodes get shorter and shorter? It's like 15, 20 yeah. minutes, 15 minutes. I'm like, what are we? Why are they so short? Um, I would think, like I said, Sol and May, even though he doesn't know it's May, he's going to spill his feelings about what's going on and losing Jackie, losing Yord. And he's going to be all distraught. And he's going to yeah. tell her and the audience what actually happened that night. And then they're going to be like, well, we, we can't, we got to go save OSHA and we're going to have the episode where they go and save OSHA. But then like, where are they going to go? Where is he? Unless it's that beach where she met him last. Right. That like that Rocky area. Yeah, Why would he go first. back there? But maybe that- she's like, Oh, he told me about this, this one place <laughs> like at end game when, when, uh, uh, or was it infinity war? I think it was end game where, um, Oh man, green, lady she's basically saying like oh thanos said he was always gonna start a farm, start a farm i know somewhere. where he's at and so she's like oh he said when i pass my training we're going to mustafar and so they're like well then off to mustafar we go off to mustafar. Um, you're right though i think you're right it'll end with you know may and soul going to save osha somehow soul dies right we're gonna have soul yep. die kaimu Done. dies do the girls die does osha walk away I don't think they both die. I would be bold, and that would be that would be bold if everyone dies and it's a one season show. Uh, I, I think, think it is. 
I think May might survive because I think if Osha survived, she would go back to the Jedi and tell them what happened. So I think Osha dies and May survives, and then it, here's the, actual, the thing though: continues. if the Jedi wronged her, right, and did all this stuff, why? Like, I think maybe she would be like, "I don't want anything to do with him." I'm getting Osha? like, yeah, yeah. Like, if she finds out whatever Soul did to her is so bad, and all these other Jedi were complacent in it, and like they hid this stuff under the rug or killed well, that's her what family. I'm saying. I think she dies. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Even if she didn't die, I don't think she'd go back. Oh, and tell you don't him. think she would go back? To yeah, tell him. I don't think she'd tell him at this point. Um, okay. Whenever she finds out whatever soul did, uh, but I don't. Not I. They're not gonna kill everyone. They're not gonna rogue one this thing. Uh, you think Chimera? Unless sur- Chimera survives? N- no. Well, I hope not. <laughs> but I mean, the Sith have to continue, right? So I don't know. Technically, who's... Plagueis is around, and technically, Palpatine and we don't know that around. though. Oh, is oh, I guess he's not canon. Yeah, yeah, we don't know the. What if he is said around. he goes some call me Darth Plagueis the Wise? I was like, there's a chance he might say it, but he didn't. He's he didn't. like, you are the ac. <laughs> I am the acolyte. <laughs> <laughs> Or the Plagueis, not the wise yet. He's just he's just Plagueis. How crazy would it be if he brings her back to one of these actual Darth Sith lords? I mean, it's not going to save the show, but I mean, like, how crazy would it be to like for them to be like, we I, have an actual Sith in the show? I feel like if it is a Sith, maybe we will go back to one of the mothers. Because he has that mm. ability, he alluded to it. I think if there's a Sith, it's still going to be one of the mothers, to be gotcha. honest. Just because he's using those abilities okay. and they make a callback to it. That's true. And like, I don't think they're that. I don't think that they're being that slick with it. But um, so he's like delivering Osha back reason. to Mother Anasay or Mother Coral. I guess that so, would be yeah. interesting. Yeah, would- and then she could tell what happened from their side of the story since soul is telling it to may, to may. most likely yeah. no we don't need soul to say it again like we don't need soul to say this story on a on a road like a world tour of telling this story um <laughs> well so he I hasn't that, said hey all he says i'll tell you i'll tell you I'll explain yeah but it's like he's telling us for five episodes yeah i'll tell you i tell you and then <laughs> like three episodes left he's gonna tell it three times <laughs> it's sad because this probably could have been like this whole show probably could have just been two episodes, like two, like two hours, three hours. You cut out a, a lot of the movie, but not a movie that I would want to have seen or been happy with. But who knows? Who knows? There's still three episodes. Um, and I was still excited to see this episode. I was excited to watch episode five because I'm like, we're finally get, we're going to get some reveal. And I was happy with the choreography. It kept me on the edge of my seat. But again, it just takes too long to get from point A to point this point B where I'm not satisfied in any way, even just now looking back and in, in hindsight, like, Oh yeah, none of this still doesn't make any sense. Um, and I, I don't understand. I don't understand with all the writing and all the creative minds that are in Hollywood per se, or even Disney and Disney Pixar and, you know, other writing staff like on Amazon or even, uh, HBO and how there's like this, these, these people who are thinking about things where they just kind of fail here is my thing though it does it does remind me obviously it's a different situation but it feels sort of star wars episode one ish to me and the fact that like just from my perspective here i grew up with episode one as the first star wars i saw mm-hmm. i thought it was awesome that's what made me fall in love with star wars it's not my favorite anymore but like mm-hmm. it's what got me into it um and that movie got panned for being goofy and dumb and you know, the fighting was awesome, though, and this yeah. episode kind of feels that way. And so, who knows? In 20 years, maybe there's going to be a whole new breed of... Uh, I mean, I don't think it has the reach of the impact that an episode one had. Right. But, like, I, there's probably going to be a bunch of kids who grow up loving this, and they're going to end up having, like, you know, this great um, attachment to this show. Yeah. Um, So, I think that's awesome. Hopefully, you know what I mean? Ideally, mm. that would be cool because I don't think I don't want Star Wars to become Star Trek, which I also love Star Trek. Don't get me wrong. But that's like a dying off fan base that mm. took far too long to try and integrate new fans in, yeah. which they've been doing lately. Um, so for what it's worth, I I think kids and certain people and not just kids. I'm not trying to say like, oh, you're an adult. You can't like this show. Sure, sure, sure. I hope anyone who's liking the show is that's awesome. Yeah. Um, but it does. It's, it's giving me that episode one feel like I feel like. 
right now I feel like I'm in the position of like someone who grew up with the original trilogy yeah. and then watched episode one and hated it. <laughs> um, so I'm sure there's going to be people who love it and grow up with it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so hopefully that's my silver lining here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just to defend episode one, I think the characters are still more clear and have better direction for I what agree. their motivations are. There are, I mean, we've we've talked about the good in the last review, um, but now those characters are dead, and uh, right now the last episode only gave me good choreography, and the story is still lacking. And I don't, I'm not gonna. <sighs> I don't want to say this is like, again, it's not ruining Star Wars. If you haven't watched it, we've decided, <laughs> me and Eli have talked about it. <laughs> this is not ruining Star Wars. It's yep. just a show that's badly written. It is not a good show. I've, I've taken it off. Is the show good? It is not good, in mm. my opinion. If you're enjoying it, though, I'm not going to say you shouldn't enjoy it. Like, enjoy it. I'm, I'm super happy, and I wish I could enjoy it at the level that you are. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still going to watch. I want to finish this thing out and see where we end up. But to me, if, if you had to... If I had to rank them, this is pretty low uh, in in the way I would rank Star Wars things. Oh, for sure. I agree. And I didn't want it to be um, like that because at the very beginning and when I watched the trailer, the first reaction on this channel, I wanted it to, to be good. I said, please be good. <laughs> please be good. And right now, it's I have been let down. But um, but yeah, any anything else you want to add to Episode 5 Night before we uh, end this thing? Yeah, I mean, I... It's such an it's such a weird thing to even try and rank this episode within the hierarchy of these episodes because it did have right. some really we cool stuff. <laughs> we have to and the act, well, grade the, the grade action is. was awesome mm-hmm. and like I, it was bold deaths yes. and those are things that I really appreciate. But everything else was, in my opinion, pretty bad. Um, mm-hmm. the characters further deepen into not making sense, uh, and so I guess it'd just be again probably a. I'm going to give it a five because I like that they were bold with the deaths. So I'll give it a five. I would give it a five. I think I'm giving it a five too. We get the reveal, right, of who's behind the mask. Fight scenes were great. Deaths were great um, if you like violence. <laughs> but uh, and it's, that was like a – that's a bold swing, right? We talked about yeah. making big swings, and that's a big swing to see two characters who they establish as, I guess – Main character, main characters, like supporting, would, yeah, strong main, and, and you, you, you have an emotional tie. Like Jackie was your favorite. I actually enjoyed Yord and his performance. Um, I would think it's up there with episode one, or sorry, this season's episode one. Um, like starting things off because uh, I didn't really like two. I think this is better than three, and definitely better than four, which I would rank the lowest. But I, I think I'd probably give this a five. Um, for yeah. where we're at now in the story, and I hope. The last three episodes, I know it's not going to bl- blow our socks off. Again, in con- uh, consistently inconsistent, the show is is how I'm deeming it now and moving forward. But um, I, I'll watch, and I'm I'm still excited because I like. <laughs> it's like watching a car accident. <laughs> like I watch the video. Am I going to feel great about it? No, but I'm here, <laughs> and so that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. That, I think I think we're in the same boat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a show. It's a show, and it's a show. It's a show. It's a show, and it's Star Wars, so I will watch it. Uh, I am a easy target in that sense. Um, so hopefully, I, I am pretty nervous for the next episode, to be honest, because they had this big episode, and we're gonna have a dialogue-heavy episode, and I don't think that is their strength. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think the stranger is bad. I think he's good. And we're going to have to have Soul constantly telling me, no, Osha, I'm sorry, Osha. I don't want to, like, <laughs> hey, like... Osha. <laughs> and it's like, she's not, she's not Osha, Soul. And it's like, no, Osha. I and he's going to keep calling out her name. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I hope uh, next week I give that episode a six. <laughs> Hey. That's my, that would be that would be my um, what I aspire the episode to be. Would you bet? I hope bet. it's a ten. I hope it's a ten. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't bet. I, wouldn't I was like my bet, socks on would it. Would you bet fifty dollars? <laughs> it'll be a six. No, no. I yeah. if I had to put like if I had to put twenty dollars on it, and this isn't me trying to be a hater here, yeah. but like safe bet for my money, I'd bet a three. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, probably. Well, let us know what you would bet in the comments below. <laughs> Did you enjoy the episode? What any good takeaways? Maybe something that we missed or uh, comment something so we can interact and have that conversation because uh, it might not be fun to watch Star Wars, but it's fun to talk about Star Wars. Go ahead. And, you know, in the comments also, which death hurt you the most? I want to know. Like, which one affected you the most? Um, yeah, I, that's good. I, to me, it was uh, your... That, just the neck crack and the toss brutal. of the body was brutal. Yeah, it was. That was brutal. It was. Yeah. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Eli, where can we find you once again? You can find me right here in this chair uh, everywhere. <laughs> no, you can find me at Uncle Sheev on... Uh, everything and the fan awakens on everything nice. uh i'm around nice real quick uh elden ring dlc thumbs up thumbs down thumbs up thumbs up i am a, a fanboy and it is brutal and it's fun great playing that on twitch a couple days a week yeah tune into his twitch to see that i'm playing star wars hunters it is a definite thumbs up for me if you want to play star wars hunters hit me up on instagram raincore on instagram or here on youtube and uh, that being said I hope you have a rest, a great rest of your galactic day. Punch a chewy. Boom. We're out of here. Bye, guys. See you next week.